It is a Friday, uh, and I did shoot some footage yesterday driving my Cobra out and about. Beautiful day for a drive. I finally got enough useful footage where I can put together something I think I can post on this channel. Probably over the weekend, maybe Monday, but I, I said I'd do a driving video, and so I will do a driving video shortly. But I got to talk about something that, that's uh, an interesting topic. And I get comments, uh, emails, and messages uh, probably about once a week from somebody complaining about how they posted something on YouTube and it's gone now and how upset they are by that. And I had a guy send me an email, uh, a very, very angry email, a diatribe, where he was calling me all kinds of names. He's calling YouTube all kinds of names. And he said, because of what YouTube is doing to him, uh, he is going to um, uh, unsubscribe and stop watching my videos. And he's frankly, he's done with YouTube. And um, after calling me all those names and, and all that stuff, he included a copy screen grab of the comment that, that had been quote-unquote removed. And I walked over my computer and I entered it and I found it about 30 seconds later. It's still there. It's, it was still there. So I wrote the guy back and I said, well, your comment is still there. I can see it. You posted it. I told him when he posted it. I said, but, you know, um, I understand if after everything you just called me above that you probably don't want to have a conversation about this, so thank you. Um, and... Here's the problem. A lot of people who con contact me and say, I, I, I can't find my comments. They're, I'm, I'm being censored by YouTube. Um, I often find their comments. They're often there. And so there appears to be a, a misunderstanding uh, that a lot of people have. They don't understand how the comments work other than they know they can post a comment. And so now I, as a creator of content, don't spend as much time worried about the comments, but... I think it's something I can help you with if you don't understand these things. First of all, comments appear on YouTube in two different ways, either by top comment or by most recent comment, and how they appear is up to you. So it varies depending on whether you're on a laptop or a tablet or a, a mobile device or a desktop, whether it's a Windows operating system or the Android operating system or the Apple. The, but you have to understand, there is a way to sort the comments. Top comments will show you the most popular comments based on how many people reacted to them versus the least popular comments. And so if you go to a video that's an hour old and it's got a comment at the top that goes posted 45 minutes ago with 17 reactions, and below that is one that was posted three minutes ago with 12 reactions, those are going to be based on top comment. However, if you are looking at the comments and it goes one minute ago, two minutes ago, three minutes ago. As you go down, those are in chronological order by most recent being at the top. That choice is up to you. You can choose which one of those it is. So I've had people tell me, I posted a comment, hit enter, left the screen, came back, it was gone. It was gone because most likely you've got your thing set to top comment and your comment was not the top comment because there was all these comments that were there before you that had more reactions than yours. So you need to go in and change the ordering or the sorting of the comments to be most recent. And then if you know where you put your comment up, you can probably find it. So that's the number one thing to remember is how they're sorted probably is causing some of these problems. Because I can't tell you how many times I've had people contact me and say, Steve, I post a comment, it disappears. I post a comment, it disappears. I go, give me an example. They give me an example. I go, find it. I go, there it is. How, how'd you find it? Is that because you work for YouTube? No, I'm doing the exact same thing you can do by sorting based on time and then looking for it. It's there. Then you need to remember that you're allowed to edit your comments. I've seen people who misspell a word, so they put a comment to their own comment and they spell it correctly, but then they misspell something else. They comment to that. Next thing you know, they've created a whole string for themselves. You can go in and edit your comment. So over on the right-hand side is a little dots or something. You click on that. It'll pull up and go, what do you want to do? Edit or remove? Click edit. You can edit your comment. When you hit save, it's going to show this comment's been edited one time, two times, whatever it is. You have the right to edit your comments. Okay? And the ability. Maybe, maybe <laughs> you should use them before you make comment, 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 comment. The third thing you can do, and I'm only mentioning this because some people don't know this, is that you can remove comments. 
I've had someone contact me before and say, Steve, I posted a comment and now I realize how stupid it looks. I wish I hadn't done that. I had people actually apologize to me for a comment they made. And I said, you know you can remove it, right? What? You can remove it. How do I do that? Go to the comment. As long as you're logged in as the person who made the comment, go over to the right-hand side, click the thing where it goes, do you want to edit or remove? You can remove the comment if you want to. And I should mention to you, and I've mentioned this story once or twice before, I had a guy contact me once. And um, I forgot why he contacted me other than just to tell me he did this. But he goes, I've got like eight or nine different YouTube logins. And he goes, I go on to your videos and I post a comment that's outrageous. He goes, then I log out and I log back into somebody else. And I argue with myself and tell my first post, you're a jackass. You know, you, you don't know what you're talking about. Go to hell. He goes, I then log out, log in as a third person, and go, what's wrong with you guys? You guys are both jackasses. Then I log out and log back in as the first person, and I call the third person names. And he goes, if I do it right, I can get other people to join the argument. And I go, but why do you do that? And he goes, I don't know. It's just fun. (laughs) So some people get really bent out of shape about the comments. But there are some reasons why you probably shouldn't take them that seriously. And then finally, I'm going to end with this. I, I was torn about this, but I, I, I can't tell you part of the story. But I had someone contact me about a week ago and say, Steve, I, I, I came up with an idea for your videos. And you should do this in every single video, something you should do. And he goes, I feel so strongly about this that um, I'm a subscriber. If you don't do my idea, I'm going to unsubscribe and never watch you again. And I wrote him back and said, goodbye. (laughs) Now, if I were to actually allow myself to be blackmailed by subscribers, I would set myself up for 551,000 other blackmail attempts. But number two, his idea is something I'd thought of and choose not to do. And there's a very good reason why. I'm not going to get into it here, because I don't want to get into a debate about something that I've already resolved a long time ago. But the point is that the guy actually said, here's my idea, do this, or I'll unsubscribe. Sorry, I don't care. Because number one, if your idea was good, I would just do it on my own. So the fact that you knew that you had to threaten me even though it's a very, very vague threat, that you had to threaten me with something like that indicates that even you knew there's a problem with the idea. Now, I don't know if if he knows why I don't do what he wants me to do, but that's not the point. The point is that he had to make that. He didn't say, hey, here's a great idea. You should try this. He said, here's something you should do, and if you don't, I'll unsubscribe. (laughs) It's not how you negotiate with a total stranger. So there you go. But the key remember, the key to remember here is, one, The comment ordering is up to you. Check to see how you got them ordered before you think that your comments have disappeared. Two, if you make a mistake in a comment, you can edit it. If you change your mind, you can remove it. Okay, but those are things up to you. But like I said, I get about once a week a complaint from somebody who says YouTube's deleting their comments. I go and look and I can find them and they're there. And they're like, oh, I didn't know that. So maybe this, if nothing else, will lessen the number of emails I get regarding this. (laughs) questions or comments, put them below those. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.